We are at Silver Springs State Park. The last time I was here, I was 19 years old. And I'm not even going to do the calculations. The glass bottom boat is $15 unless you want a 90 minute tour, then it's 30 per adult. The tours, the you know, glass bottom boat tours, oh, okay. it's a 90 minute tour. And you have to book in advance like three weeks at least to get that one. Otherwise they're full. And then the other one's a 30 minute tour, which we got, we could have went today, but we're going tomorrow. Right. And the difference is the 90 minute just goes down the river further. further. So Welcome Center, gift shop, Discovery Center, restroom, spring cafe. I don't know if that's still open or not. In the Discovery Center here at Silver Springs, they got some aquarium with some fish. There's one down there too. Currently we're here in early March and it is not the uh, season for flowers. There's a bunch of picnic tables you can sit at, eat your lunch. They do have that uh, trailer up there that you can order food. There's a cafe but it's not currently open and the snack shop there remodeling. But there's all kinds of different trees and flowers. Bushy flowers. And they're really bushes with flowers on them. And this is called the Crossroads Garden. There's a big building over there. I'm not sure what that building is. But there's paths from the river to the gardens and back and forth. And there's little notes. This is a reflection garden. For a raccoon. You got a raccoon. I would say they're going to go release them. No, it's running around, see? Yeah, but he's got something in the cage. Yeah, it is. It's his pet raccoon. Take a picture, Jim. That's something you don't see every day. Huh? It'll be electric. Yep, it's electric. Which we learned from the last time, don't get in the very back. Or that'll be on, that's all you pick up on the mic. I'm to give you the best boat ride of the day. How's that? That work? In case of emergency, but it's Tuesday. And I have no emergencies on Tuesday. How's that? that? Sounds good, doesn't it? I think so. I think it's a great plan. Alrighty. Folks, when they say glass bar boats, they do mean glass. What you're looking through is half inch thick straight plate glass. <laughs> you can see right to the bottom. Fish, the turtles, everything. Do you know these boat tours began back here over a hundred years ago? Back in 1878, a young man right here on the Silver River took a rowboat, he put glass in the bottom and started doing boat tours. So that created Silver Springs being Florida's first and longest running tourist attraction. We're way ahead of the dude with the ears if you know who I mean. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to tell you all about the water and the wildlife too. There's probably 30 some odd springs in here. This is the Silver River. Um, 
and between all of them, they produce about 850 million gallons of water every day. That water travels, folks, over 500 miles. The Silver River will connect to the Ocklawaha River. The Ocklawaha will then run 100 miles and it will connect to the St. John's River. And then the St. John's will run 400 miles more and it runs north all the way up to Jacksonville and then the water will spill into the Atlantic Ocean. Now you can see how crystal clear the water is. Well, that caught the attention of the filmmakers. That was a big deal back here. They made over a hundred movies and TV shows. Some of the famous actors that came here were people that you'll know. Doris Day, Burt Reynolds, Jerry Lewis, Tom Cruise, James Dean. How about this guy? How about Johnny Weissmuller? Tarzan. They made six Tarzan movies right here at Silver Springs. For the filmmakers, they came here for that beautiful clear water, but they got the added bonus of the natural light. Look how light and bright that is down there. And the depth. The majority of the springs that we look at are about 20 to 30 feet deep. They could get in and out with the equipment fairly easily. The big blue fish that you see, those are the blue tilapia. It'll have to be just so because of the depth of this spring. It's about 28 feet deep. So they had to have material that was going to hold up. Is there a manatee in here? Yes, there are. Yep, hopefully we'll see. Yep, this is manatee season. Um, and the manatees come here because of the water. Uh, these springs put out water that's 72 degrees Fahrenheit. Over here on the left hand side, they named this the Sea Hunt. Most of that show was filmed in California, but they filmed about a hundred episodes right here. I'm going to show you next is what they call the head spring back here. This is the largest spring in this river. It's also one of the largest artesian springs in the world. It produces about 550 million gallons of water on its own every single day. It's 55 feet deep and 65 feet across. So here it comes. This is called Mammoth Spring. I think they should rename it to Oh Wow because it really is a wow when we come around this spring. Drops right off. Check this out. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah, Mammoth Spring. It is huge. Puts out 550 million gallons of water on its own every day. Now, the vent that rolls around the bottom of it, that stretches around about 135 feet around. And in many places, it's five feet high. You could almost stand up in the vent. Look at that. Isn't that amazing, huh? It's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Now, bringing back around, I call it the cliff face over here so you can see it one more time. And you can kind of look, and it looks like caves down there, but that's the vent openings. Look right down there. It's just so pretty. Oh, yeah. All right, back to the movies one more time. Um, James Bond. They filmed four James Bond movies here. 
Uh, one of them was Moonraker in 1979. And when they filmed it, they used these statues as props in the movie. Let me see if I can find them for you. There's three of them down here I want to show you. Here they come. Um, they stand about seven to eight feet tall. And somebody named them. They name everything here. <laughs> but they named them Zeus, Poseidon, and Hades. Here they come. We should float right over them for you guys on the left. I know you folks on the right can see them. There they are. Zeus, Poseidon, and Hades. How's that? Now, folks, they've been down there for 40 something years. They still look pretty good, don't they? But here's the thing it was the movies, and they were made out of fiberglass. Plus, they get a bath once a month. Once a month, the divers come out and they scrape all the green algae off and they'll make them look good again. And if you want to see uh, the statues and the creature costume, go in the Discovery Center up here. Captain Oscar's in there today as well. Oscar ran these boats for 54 years, up until last year. He has all kinds of information on this place. Way more than I'll ever get. Alrighty. Well, folks, that's going to conclude our ride this morning. On behalf of Silver Springs and myself, I am Captain Joyce. And I really appreciate you coming out. And I hope you truly had a great ride. So thank you. I appreciate you so much. Go enjoy the rest of the day. Walk around. There's trails on both sides of the river. And Whatever it was called. I can't remember the name of the movie. Back Lagoon. Preacher from the Back Lagoon. Okay, as you come in the park, if you go to the right, this is the boardwalk area. I hear the monkeys. Yeah. There's definitely a monkey here. He said you make a lot of noise. Yeah. <laughs> However, they don't really like humans. Don't David, smile don't <laughs> smile at them, whatever you do. There's a monkey. So that's where they launch. There's the monkeys. They're over there. I don't know if you can see them, but they're clear. Over there, bouncing up and down on the trees. There's a couple of them in there. Oh, so, well, there's the launch. Come off the launch. This is Monkey Island. There's a they brought them in in 1930. Some guy did. That was a riverboat guy. Yeah. And he put them on the island so that when he would have an extra tourist attraction when he did the steamboats. Uh -huh. However, he didn't think they could swim. Well, they can swim. They are excellent swimmers. <laughs> yeah. And they've now populated. They said Florida has like 2,000, 1,000 of them from here, maybe south of here, all the way to Jacksonville. Wow. But they said the park estimates somewhere between two and 400. Yeah. I guess the monkeys are not always a guarantee here, but we've seen them. We heard them first. Nice boardwalk. See, there's some evidence of them not being happy with humans. You watch where you walk. Nah, they just go wherever they feel like it. Might want to wear a hat. And there's all kinds of say signs saying, don't feed the animals. The boat tour was fantastic. And she's the one that recommended we come over here because she's seen them. She said that the uh, boats, they get them out of storage over here somewhere. And they seen the baby ones out this morning. The baby monkeys. Yeah, there's the caca on the railings. This is kind of how the home of Fossil Springs was. But they were spider monkeys. Oops. That was a leaf. So it's this creek part area that you can't go in around the island. That's Monkey Island. 
They don't call it Monkey Island, they call it something else. Half mile up. There's some big white birds back in there. This boardwalk trail is really cool. Oh, there's a monkey up in the tree. We've seen a lot of monkeys here. Yeah. Quite a few more than what you normally see, so that was good. So, loading and unloading your kayaks if you have them. You just come around, and here you got 15 minutes to unload it. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's that far to the river. Well, this is down where the kayak dock is. It costs four dollars to launch your personal kayak unless you're staying in the campground and all you have to do is show the pass just like you do to go into the state park and you get in free. But they have all kinds of kayaks and stuff to rent. You ready? Put yours in first. Ready? Okay. You go. You're going first. Go backwards. <coughs> Okay, let's go get the other one. I doubt the manatees will even be here anymore because it got up to 80 yesterday. Or almost 80. Today it's 80. One, it's about time for them to go back as the waters are warming up. It is March. They're probably the most comfortable kayaks we've ever had. You know that? Here's the boats. We go to the boat tour. Yeah, there's one coming back right now. Yeah. which way the boat's going. Do you? Where's that thing? Uh, sea witch. Isn't it right here? The sea witch? I think that's the Sea Witch Dock, right there. I want to go over by it and get a good shot of it. So I can remember as a young kid watching this show. Sea Hunt. Huh? Sea Hunt. Sea Hunt. Sea Hunt. Like it's floating me around in a circle. This is where they did a hundred of the shots from the sea hunt.
So normally you can go down this path and go around the Monkey Island, or that's not Monkey Island, it's called Allen's Island. Allen somebody's island. Allen? Yeah, it's Allen something island. Huh. And you can go down that way. However, there's something out, like a bridge or it's I've like heard that there's a big out. tree that's over. That's what I heard. I heard it was a big tree, but their sign says a bridge. the sign says there's a bridge out that they're working on, and we could hear them working on a Some structure. You want to help me? Jim. He's going to take so. Not too, so he stopped. I might don't pull me up. I might don't pull the kayak up. I don't want to pull on the bottom of it. Yay! <sighs> Success. The state park here. The, the Silver Spring State Park itself. I love the state park. To tell you the truth, it's one of the better, I think it's the best one we've been to. Best state park. I can't say it's the best, but it's in the top five. So. I like it the best. Yeah, Jim likes it the best. The kayaking was fantastic there. The water is crystal, crystal clear. You can see if there's anything. It was the same thing as Rainbow Springs. The uh, place entrance. Up, the entrance here where the main park is has a lot of stuff to do to see even if you just walk around and see the gardens, the different plants, you can look at the water. You can if you see the manatees in the water usually. Yeah, uh, during manatee season. You can see the fish in there a lot. We can so, see turtles, fish. The boat ride, fantastic. The boat ride was fun. Uh, we only did the 30 minute. Because we couldn't get into the other 90 one. minute. Um, but it was worth every cent for it. Uh, we will definitely, if we ever come to this park again, do it again and I could see us coming to this park again yeah. easily we're gonna go to Blue Springs again so it was definitely worth it come to the state park check out our video about the campground it'll be coming up right after this video so as soon as you see this video a week later you're gonna see a video on the campground and why we did two separate videos there is so much to do at the state park and then there's a lot to do at the campground so you need to watch both videos to see what options you have. Just remember, if you go to the park, that if you've stayed at the campground, that you take this pass, because it will get you in the park every single day that you're here, free. So you don't have to pay for the park, and you don't have to pay for the boat launch. So if you go over to the kayak launch, you gotta have that pass on you, or they'll charge you $4 to put your kayak in, if you have your own kayak. Now they have rentals if you don't have your own kayak, uh, they were paddle boarders. They had paddle boards that you could rent. They had all kinds of life jackets, all kinds of really cool. paddles, equipment, everything. And that ramp is nice. It's pretty easy. Jim said the right side, which is the rental side, at the part that's in the water was a little rough if you go to step out. He said there was a couple little holes. Um, but most people don't step out into the water there. They try to stay out of the water because of the critters that are in there. But... Um, Definitely. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Which is a like. A like, yeah. That really helps us. And please make a comment. Have you been here to the state park? Were you here as a child? I was here when I was 19. And a lot of it has changed, but a lot of it is the same. So that is really neat. The, the glass bottom boats are still here, just like when I was a child. Well, it's not really a child. That's more of a young teenager and young adult. And... The only thing that's really different is the shows. They don't have the little animal shows animal that shows. they used to have, which I was never into anyways. But So, like we said, if you like this, give us a thumbs, thumbs up. up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and hit the notification bell so that you know when a new video is coming out from No Worries RV. Thank you.